Today I would like to introduce you to the famous artist who is known as the number one artist in Taiwan's art circle, Ohonian. This picture's title is High Mountain and Long River. The inscription means, he painted this picture in Hong Kong to reminisce the landscape in a trip in the summer of May, lunar calendar, 1980. Then, in the spring of 1983, the ambassador drumright couple visited him, so he gifted this old work to them. This is the painting that was on display. We learned from the previous episode that Chi Kong was an omnipotent painter. Unexpectedly, we met another amazing all-round painter who was just 24 years younger than Chi Kong. Although this painting was not on display, there is also an inscription which means for Ambassador and Madam Drumright's enjoyments, in the winter of 1979, Honian. 1979 is a very interesting year. Because I found a magazine, Beautiful China, a pictorial monthly, in a box of art books received from my husband's relative. It is the November of the 68th year of the Republic of China, which is 1979. There is a whole page of introduction to Ohonian, a professor at the College of Chinese Culture, now Chinese Culture University. Ohonian had a solo exhibition at the San Diego Museum of Art, California, United States, from July 14th to August 13th of 1979. This was a month-long solo exhibition featuring dozens of paintings, including landscapes, figures, animals, birds, flowers, insects, and fish, etc. It was the most important event of cultural exchanges at the museum in recent years. In the end of the article, Professor O oh and his wife, Chu Mulan, received an honorary citation by the Secretary of California State, Mrs. March Fong Yu, in recognition of their contributions to cultural and artistic exchange over the years. There is another very precious historical photograph in this magazine. There are Ambassador Drumright, 73, Mrs. Florence Drumright, 64, and Professor Ohonian, 44, sit on the floor of their living room of the Drumright's home in Poway, California and watch a souvenir album together. When Ambassador Drumright retired from Taiwan, the government of Republic of China sent him a very large souvenir album of calligraphy and painting. This exquisite, decorated album including 31 paintings and calligraphies by artists and professors, 6 calligraphies by officials, and 3 pages at the end which are the list of 63 companies in the industrial and mining business, also including my father-in-law, C. T. Ku's company. They shared the cost of framing and installation. Now this album is in the collection of the San Diego Museum of Art. This is the painting displayed at the exhibition. Coincidentally, I have a friend whose name is Wu Guaying. Her art teacher was Jean Jaluan. She told me that teacher Jean Jaluan was a student of teacher O. Honian. Therefore, when she returned to Taiwan, she brought the exhibition catalog of Ambassador and Mrs. E. F. Drumright's Inc. Diplomacy to her teacher then to teacher O. Honian. Surprisingly, in July 2021, I received a package from teacher Ohonian. He sent me several publications. The first is the January 2020 special edition of Chinese Cultural Figures. It is dedicated to Professor Ohonian, who has retrospective exhibition of the 80th year of Ohonian and an art seminar were held successively at the National Art Museum of China. On the cover character that says Ohonian, the third generation of the Lingnan School of Painting, a famous artist and calligrapher, the number one artist in Taiwan's art circle today. Down below is the successor of Lingnan School of Painting and reached the new summit when 80. The second is a 2021 calendar published by the Ohonian Culture Foundation. It is a selection of collections from the Ohonian Art Museum at Chinese Culture University. The third is a special edition published by the Asian Art Museum in San Francisco. Book titled The Bold Brush of Ohonian. Inside, he even inscribes in calligraphy for Pinghui Lady Scholar, Ohonian, and stamped his name. Finally, one more precious stuff I received is a letter, written in small ink calligraphy by teacher Ohonian to me on July 2, 2021. I was very moved. 
Oh said that Ambassador Drumright and he had been friends for over 70 years. In the 1950s, when Ambassador Drumright resided in Taiwan, they also visited each other many times. After retiring, the Drumwrights arranged Professor O's solo exhibition at the San Diego Museum of Art and insisted Professor O and his wife, artist Xu Mulan, to stay with them for a week at their home in Poway, California. Professor O had a wonderful memory about the time with the Drumwrights. In addition, the Drumwrights also invited many of their friends to Taiwan six to seven times after retiring. Mrs. Florence Drumwright would be their tour guide and arrange the detailed routes or activities for each stay. Therefore, Professor O would say that the Drumwright couple were China's closest international friends then. They always eagerly hope every artist to put efforts in promoting Chinese art and culture as well as making contributions to Sino-American cultural exchange. Lady scholar Pinghui's current effort truly fulfilled their hope and wishes and is praiseworthy. I am very grateful for his compliments. At the beginning of 2023, I visited Professor O. Oh. Later, his son told me that Professor O oh also gifted the San Diego Chinese Historical Museum a very large tiger painting, which I didn't see when preparing the exhibition. I looked up all the photos I took in 2017 and finally found the large tiger painting. There is an inscription, for Ambassador and Madame Drumwright's enjoyment, Ohonian. This picture is almost a man's height, which is at least 150 to 160 centimeters, around 5 feet long. Finally, thanks to Professor O's son David, who sent me a very valuable painting album, which was first published in 1978, and the fourth edition published in 1989. He agrees with me to use the contents of the book so that everyone will see Professor O's wonderful works and his lifetime achievements in the next issue. Stay tuned!